At this time, I call to order Muskogee Creek National Council impeachment session, August 12th, 2021. Time is 7.39 p.m. This time, I'd like to ask Representative Mark Randolph to do the invocation, please. Lord, we're thankful for another day for your many blessings that you've given us, Lord. We ask that you just clear our minds and you touch our hearts and goodness, Lord. Guide and direct us in all that we do. We be, may we be mindful of your words and your teachings. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Representative Randolph. Roll call. Recording Secretary Alicia Strobel. Speaker Randall Hicks. Present. Mary Crawford. Present. Joyce Deer. Present. Patrick Freeman. Here. Joseph Hicks. Here. Robert Huff. Present. James Jennings. Adam Jones. Here. William Lowe. Here. Anna Marshall. Yeah, uh, present. Charles McHenry. Here. Thomasine Yahala Osborne. Present. Daryl Proctor. Here. Mark Randolph. Present. Lucian Tiger. Present. Speaker, you have 15 present, zero absent. 15 present and zero absent constitutes a quorum. All business conducted will be official. Vote to convene an impeachment session. At this time, I will inquire each representative to cast a vote to convene an impeachment session. Each representative shall stand, state his or her name, and answer with yay or nay to the question of whether to convene an impeachment session. Representative Patrick Freeman, Jr., please stand, state your name. Mr. Freeman, do you cast a vote to convene an impeachment session of the National Council? Thank you. Representative Adam Jones, third, please stand, state your name. Adam Jones, third. Representative Jones, do you cast a vote to convene an impeachment session of the National Council? Yes. Thank you, sir. Representative Joyce Deer, please stand, state your name. Joyce C. Deer. Do you cast the vote to convene an impeachment session of the National Council? Yes. Thank you, ma'am. Representative James Jennings, please stand and state your name. Representative Jennings, do you cast the vote to convene in an impeachment session of the National Council? Thank you, sir. Representative Tom Sr. to hold Osborne, please stand and state your name. Do you cast a vote to convene an impeachment session of the National Council? What was your vote? Yes. Thank you. Representative Robert Huff, please stand and state your name. Robert Huff. Do you cast a vote to convene an impeachment session of the National Council? Yes. Thank you, sir. Representative Mark Randolph, please stand and state your name. Mark Randolph. Representative Randolph, do you cast the vote to convene an impeachment session of the National Council? Yes. Thank you, sir. Representative Joe Hicks, please stand and state your name. Joseph Hicks. Do you cast the vote to convene an impeachment session of the National Council? Yes. Thank you, sir. Representative Darrell Proctor, please stand and state your name. Darrell Proctor. Representative Proctor, do you cast the vote to convene an impeachment session of the National Council? Yes. Thank you, sir. Representative Mary Crawford, please stand and state your name. Mary Crawford. Do you cast a vote to convene an impeachment session of the National Council? Yes. Representative, oh, thank you, ma'am. Representative William Lowe, please stand and state your name. William Lowe. Do you cast a vote? convene an impeachment session of the National Council. Yes. Thank you, sir. Representative Anna Marshall, please stand and state your name. Anna Marshall. Ms. Marshall, do you cast a vote to convene an impeachment session of the National Council? Yes. Thank you, ma'am. Representative Lucian Tiger III, please stand and state your name. Lucian Tiger III. Representative Tiger, do you cast a vote to convene an impeachment session of the National Council? Yes. Thank you, sir. Representative Charles McHenry, please stand and state your name. Charles McHenry. Representative McHenry, do you cast a vote to convene an impeachment session of the National Council? Yes. Thank you, sir. Speaker, you have 14 yeas and zero nays. 14 in favor and zero against. 
At this time, I declare the National Council to be in impeachment session. Down to order of business. National Council directive approval. I believe everybody was emailed the uh, impeachment directive. I want to read something and then we'll go into it. Title 31, subsection 1-301F. The National Council shall initiate impeachment proceedings by majority vote authorizing the National Council directive, which shall state the purpose, prob probable cause for removal and other such allegations and facts, which may be probable cause for removal and authorize a special impeachment committee and the appointment of a special prosecutor. This time I'll entertain motion of council. Motion to approve. Motion to approve has been made by Representative Jones. Second. Second by Representative Hicks. Is there any discussion? Any discussion? Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Adam Jones? Yes. William Lowe? Yes. Anna Marshall? Charles McHenry? Yes. Thomasina Hola Osborne? Yes. Daryl Proctor? Yes. Mark Randolph? Yes. Lucian Tiger? Yes. Mary Crawford? Yes. Joyce Steer? Yes. Patrick Freeman? Yes. Joseph Hicks? Yes. Robert Huft? Yes. James Jennings? Yes. Speaker, you have 14 in favor, zero against. 14 in favor, zero against. That motion passes. Special Impeachment Committee Selection. Title 31, Subsection 1-103A. A special impeachment committee shall be convened consisting of seven members of the National Council and one member to serve as an alternate committee member selected at random. Title 31, Title 31 Subsection 1-103C. The purpose of the Special Impeachment Committee shall be to examine charges, investigate, investigate activities, and examine evidence for cause for removal, as the Director shall state and report its findings to the National Council. At this time, I'd like to have April Lindsay and Richard Anderson to come forward. We have the National Council, all National Council members' names in this bowl, and they will draw seven names, which will be the committee, and then one alternate member. We're going to read the names and put them in the jar. Darren Proctor. James Jennings. Joyce Steer. Mary Crawford. Randall Hicks. Robert Huff. William Lowe. Joseph Hicks, Charles McHenry, Mark Randolph, Patrick Freeman, Anna Marshall, Thomasine Yehola Osborne, Adam Jones, and Lucian Tiger. <laughs> Writing them down, boy. Richard's going to draw the names and I'll read them out loud and show them on the camera. Thomasine Yehola Osborne. James Jennings.
Mary Crawford. Daryl Proctor. Randall Hicks. Joyce Steer. Mark Randolph. This will be the alternate. Robert Huff. Thank you, April. Thank you, Richard. So the special impeachment committee will consist of Representative Tom Senior Osborne, Representative James Jennings, Representative Mary Crawford, Representative Daryl Proctor, Representative Randall Hicks, Representative Joyce Deer, Representative Mark Randolph. Alternate is Representative Robert Huff. Title 31, MCNCA 1-105A, 2 states it is a special prosecutor's duty to convene the Special Impeachment Committee. So, with that being said, this will conclude the order of business. Any announcements? Any announcements? Hearing none, entertain a motion to adjourn. Oh, just a sec. Mr. Davis, did you have anything to say or you want to add? No, no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just, um, I know this is weighs heavy on all your, um, hearts and minds. And, um, so, you know, uh, as we approach this, we'll do it with, uh, you know, the best intentions in mind understanding uh, the process and what's at stake here. Um, one thing I did wanna, and I'll reach out to Alicia to get the names and information because I'll have to get um, the evidence and documents, but we'll set up a secure system to do that that's encrypted. I can do that through my uh, law firm before we, uh, I can get the information to start looking at it to assist the committee in this investigation. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Davis. Representative Jennings. So are we having court tomorrow? No. Uh Mr. Davis. Is I didn't I didn't hear that. I'm sorry. The question was about the court tomorrow. Is that still ongoing? Oh, the, um uh, my understanding is when uh we had the uh in chambers meeting with uh Judge Leeds. She was going to she was going to attempt to issue a decision by tomorrow. Uh, I don't think there's a hearing set for anything tomorrow. It's uh, she's going to issue a decision on the briefs. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yep. Any any more announcements? Hearing none. Representative McHenry made a motion to adjourn. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Representative Jennings. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign. This time I'd like to ask Representative Thomas Senior Hola Osborne to give the benediction, please. Father, I just thank you for this day and I thank you for Father, I just pray um, guidance and direction for all of us. Also for those who are fighting the COVID-19 again. Father, I just pray uh, protection over them. Father, it's it's a sad day that we're living in that we have to live in. I just I'm just praying that everyone is praying for them. Father, that you will take troubles home for them. 
Man, thank you, Representative. You hold on for him. Meeting adjourned, 754.